What's up guys, Momo Jiri's here and welcome back to the channel. We'll be doing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! related stuff on the channel again guys. I have deck profiles um, ready for you. I have pack discussions. We're going to be trying to get some Dawn of Majesty up in here. It's going to be great guys. And uh, eventually I will continue my From Scratch series so also stay tuned for that. Link to the previous episodes will be up there somewhere. So, we got new world premiere card for Dark Magician. And it's funny because people are talking about the tins, how we're supposed to be getting these cards, but then because the set is pushed back, more Dark Magician support is going to come out for the OCG. However, this isn't like a side set or anything. This is like a main set. Um, Aura of Chaos is like their set after Burst of Destiny. So I don't think we're going to be getting these cards yet in the tins, but I mean, only time will tell really. So we should be getting this set um i think february or january of next year so yeah since birth of destiny is going to be in october so let's get into this new support guys okay this is a field spell magical salvation the first dark magician field spell when this card activation resolves you can set one eternal soul directly from your deck not bad. If you normal or special summon a Dark Magician or Dark Magician girl, you can target one of those monsters, special summon from your graveyard, one Dark Magician or Dark Magician girl whose name is different from the targets. So, they're really trying to combine Dark Magician and Dark Magician girl into a deck, which is pretty cool. Then we have Shattered to Darkness, a continuous spell. If you normal or special summon a non-token normal monster, draw one card. So basically, summon Dark Magician, draw a card. Um, when one of the following monsters your opponent declares an wait, when one of the following monsters you control declares an attack and battles an opponent's monster until the end of the turn, the monster attack the monster gains attack equal to the attack of your opponent's monster. So if you have a level five or higher normal monster, a ritual monster that was used as normal mon that used the normal monster, or a fusion synchro or exceed summon monster that was used as use a normal monster as material attacks. So basically summon anything with Dark Magician. Uh, no Link. There's no Link monster. I mean, they should really include Link because we'll get a Dark Magician Link monster eventually. Because no one thought we'd get a Synchro or Fusion. No, a Synchro and Exceed, so... Weird. Now, Blue Eyes card. The True Light. Apply one of these effects. Play someone with Blue Eyes monster, White Dragon from your hand or graveyard. Eternal Soul, which is pretty cool. Set directly to your field from your deck. One spell trap card that specifically lists the card Blue Eyes White Dragon in its text has a different name from cards you control and in your graveyard. Also, Blue Eyes White Monsters in your monster zone cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. If this face of card in your spell trap card zone is sent to the graveyard, destroy all monsters you control. Basically, an eternal soul for Blue Eyes, which isn't bad. The thing is, you can set the spell or trap card to your field instead of adding it to your hand, which is interesting. Now we have some monsters. Magi Karibo, which took so long to get. During the main of battle phase, if you took <coughs> battle damage or damage from an opponent's card effect, this turn. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, spoil someone Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from your deck or graveyard. So your opponent attacks, destroy something, you still have some cards left. Activate this, summon Dark Magician. Then, if a face up spell cast a monster you control is destroyed by battle card effects, by your opponent, add this card from your graveyard to your hand. So you don't have to banish you, just continuously every turn. Just keep doing it. But you can only use this name first and second effect each once per turn. Wow! So, you take some damage, spell summon Dark Magician. Dark Magician dies, you add this back to your hand, you do it again next turn. Neat! Alright, Tamias the Dragon of Destiny. They actually made Tamias a monster. So, of course, it is a dragon light monster with 2800 attack and 1800 defense. You can send one spell cast a monster or one spell trap card that specifically lists the card Dark Magician in this text from your hand or face of field to the graveyard and then spread some of this card from your hand. During your main phase, you can fuse them in one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material, including at least one spellcaster monster. Not bad. I mean, do you really need to fuse them in more? But. Iotamias, man. Iotamias. Then we have another ritual monster. Dark Magician has like five at this point. Uh, the, the, the Illusion of Chaos, a level seven dark spellcaster ritual monster. 2100 attack, 2500 defense. Why must they switch it? That's so weird. You can reveal this card in your hand. 
Add one Dark Magician or one non-ritual monster that specifically lists that card's name in this text from your deck to your graveyard, then place one card from your hand to the top of your deck. So reveal this card, and then you either add Dark Magician or like Apprentice Illusion Magician. Or Dark Sage, just cuz. When your opponent activates the monster effect, quick effect, return this card to the hand, and if you do, spice from one Dark Magician from your graveyard, and if you do, negate that effect. Huh. That's interesting. The fact that you have to keep ritual summoning, but you can summon it with chaos form, which is cool. Then we have another fusion monster. It is Dark Master of Chaos. 3000 attack, 2500 defense. Looks like BLS. It needs Dark Magician plus a chaos or BLS ritual monster. It has to be a ritual monster, which is wild. If this card is fusion summoned, target one light or dark monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You could tribute one light and one dark monster. Huh. So summon it, summon dark magician or dark magician to chaos, basically. Tribute one light and one dark monster, banish all monsters your opponent controls. <laughs> Just wipe the field. If this fusion summon card is destroyed by a battle card effect, target one spell in your graveyard, add to your hand. Dark magician to chaos. Nice. And then last card. Dimension Conjurer. If this card is normal or special, you can add one match with dimension from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Which is weird. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, draw cards equal to the number of spell cards the monster you control. Then place the same number of cards from your hand to the top of your deck in any order. So it's basically like um Phantasmic. You have five, draw five, then put five back. Good way to reset your hand. Not bad. And it's a level one. So it can be Link Karibo to way. So, that's pretty cool. But yes, guys, that is all the new Dark Magician support. We'll probably be getting more in more recent times. We'll probably get more information, more cards soon. But tell me how you feel about all the cards revealed. They're pretty cool to me. I love Dark Magician support. And guys, if this gets at least five likes on the video, and if you guys made it this far, don't forget to comment hashtag potato skins in the comment section below. Just so I know you made it this far. And... If this gets five likes, I will post my agent, not agent, my Drytron, Vandred, Necros, Herald, Archlord, Christia deck. I know, it's great. It's going to be like 60 cards. It's going to be so much fun. You guys want to see this, all right? Stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll catch you later, Crow Gang. Peace.